I know Biggie's forgiven him and probably wouldn't want people feeling like this, but I just can't help but have a dislike of Ridge Holland. Like, if Ridge Holland didn't have this history of doing a move wrong and almost hurting people or doing a move wrong and actually hurting people, I wouldn't care, like, at all. I'd be like, yeah, Ridge, it was an accident or whatever. And it still is an accident. Ridge Holland kind of sort of just sucks. Just recently, he did it to Pretty Deadly, did a suplex, they landed wrong, uh, separated his shoulder. And obviously, all of these are accidents. I'm not saying he's going out there trying to injure people. But how many accidents can you have before somebody's like, yo, this isn't for you? And I recognize me feeling like this to Ridge Holland is very unfair to him, but I just do. Because watching wrestling as a black person, sure, it's on the trend upwards and upwards and upwards that there's more and more and more black wrestlers. But at the end of the day, no matter how many of them there are, there's still not that many that reach the top of the top. AEW has never had a black world champion and WWE and it's a long, long, long history of it has only had four black world champions. That's three. You know what I meant though. The Rock, Kofi Kingston, Bobby Lashley, and Big E. And with Ridge Holland breaking his neck, that's one of them that got forced into retirement early. And that's like, damn bro, we finally got somebody and a dude got his neck broken. I know it wasn't on purpose. I know it wasn't, but like, Fuck, man, damn, we can't have nothing. But hey, at least we still got the other three. I just knocked on wood. And then to make matters worse, they acknowledge that Ridge Holland hurts people, so they send him down to NXT and have him injure Ilya Dragunov to get into a storyline where he's like, yeah, I injured people, yada, yada, yada. And then he goes into a fake retirement storyline. Okay. And if Biggie ever came back to wrestling and he was perfectly fine and you know he could do it, I would let this hate of Ridge Holland go immediately. But looking at his most recent tweet, it ain't happening. So it's kind of like, damn. But hey, at least we got the moment, right? If you like this video, subscribe and follow me and have yourselves a damn good one.